Hi there and welcome to this episode of Consciousness Fucking Empowerment. Here we talk about consciousness, the law of attraction, and how to reach your fucking dreams. All right, let's fucking get this shit. Woo! This one is gonna be a really fucking good one. Okay, so I'm going over Power of Assumption by Neville Goddard, chapter four. Okay, this is one of the greatest books that he has written. All of them are great, but he, this is <laughs> one of the one of the best ones. Okay, um, <clears throat> the power of awareness. All right. So chapter four is titled Desire. Before you move forward, <clears throat> I want you to have in mind not only the things that you don't like in your life, that's why you're here because you want to manifest, but also have the highest version of yourself, okay? I want you to have the highest version of yourself, okay? The highest version of yourself has no limits, okay? If you're desiring to manifest something right now because you're like, oh, okay, I think I could get it. And if you honestly have some kind of limiting belief on there, you're not ready, okay? You're not ready because here, I'm talking about your dreams. Your dreams should not have limits, ideally. But sometimes you're trying to manifest things that you think you can get, okay? No, okay, no. You must have a goal that you have no idea how to get, okay? But at the same time, it is the best fucking thing that you would want, okay? When I was in prison, I did not have a higher education. I mean, uh, education. I didn't go to high school, okay? <clears throat> I was in prison, you know, I had a criminal record, but I didn't say, hey, I didn't have no limiting belief about me going to college. Why? Because I knew if I kept on going the route that I was going, kept ha having the same thoughts, same desires, right? Thoughts or desires, and implementing them, going out to party, doing drugs, um, not working, and... Um, like all the bad shit, right? I would go back. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just focus on good things. I'm gonna focus on going to school, being good, and being with my family again. And if anything pushes me off that route, it's not for me, right? It's not for me. Anything that pushes you off your route, it's not for you, okay? Because I had to go through that extreme. Even if, if it's somebody who you like, right? And it's trying to take you out off of that path. <clears throat> Okay, so now, if you're ready, then continue watching. If not, just turn this off. And if you're ready to learn as well, you're ready to learn this. The laws of the mind and of the universe, essentially. Keep watching and let's get started. So I'm going to go over the very first part of the chapter, the first sentence it's mind-blowing quote the changes which take place in your life as a result of your changed concept of yourself always appear to the unenlightened to be the result not of a change of your of your consciousness but of chance outer cause or coincidence I did not mean to have that preface on changing my thought, talking about my thoughts. It just happened. I, I just knew that I was going to talk about this chapter. He's talking about changing your concept of yourself, okay? The changes which take place in your life as a result of your change concept of yourself always appear to the unenlightened to be the result, not of a change of your consciousness, but of chance, outer cause, or coincidence. You know, people always ask me, how did you get to college? You know, how, how'd you do it, right? How'd you do it, Miguel? I would say, it's just, I just decided to do that when I got, when I was in prison, I said I wanted to go, you know? And they were like, oh, you must be really smart. You were always smart. I'm like, no, I didn't go to high school. I didn't. Do the homework. I didn't pay attention. I didn't have this information to like 
nor learn or do college level writing, essays, the comprehension and the tactics. I learned that all there once I got to college. I was always at the uh, tutoring place. So I knew I needed a lot of help. It wasn't because, oh, I'm super smart, you know, I have an ego, no. But in hindsight, I could have, in hindsight now, I could say, well, I thought about it for two years. I, I programmed my mind to be that person. In my mind, I was that college student. I started acting like that college student. I was reading books. I was writing essays. I was re getting a, um, I, was getting, I was about to pick up a dictionary, a dictionary and looking up all the words that I didn't know. If I, if I didn't know a word, I would stop and look it up and I would write it down and make a little note card, like a, like a flash card with it and just study it because I knew that I was gonna be a college student and I needed my vocabulary to expand. But in my mind, I was already that college student. I was seeing my dream realized. In my, in my mind, the dream was realized. I had the picture of it. You know, I was walking on the campus and I felt good and successful. I felt like I was doing great because I knew I was dedicating myself to that, you know, <clears throat> in the physical. So when I was visualizing, I felt accomplished. I felt successful. I will see the, the buildings. I will see the bright sun, bright yellow sun lighting up the buildings, the blue sky, the warmth on, on my skin, the green grass, the, the backpack. I would feel the backpack on me. You know, I'll be sitting down in, in the classroom. I would see the lights. I would see him in, in the back. I would see the whiteboard. I, I, was in, I was in the imaginary act. I was in the imaginary act. I wasn't thinking of it. I wasn't like, oh, I would like that. I was feeling it. The senses, I was feeling the table. I was seeing the professor. <clears throat> so that's what you have to do. You have to change yourself. But at the same time, here's something that I, I want to put in here. Make a fucking commitment. Make a fucking commitment to be that person right now. Because when you're committed to be that person right now to whatever it is you want to be, a better salesperson, a better lover, a better, a better husband, a wealthy person, a fit person, um, somebody who has a nonprofit, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is, you got to say, I commit to be that person right fucking now you're gonna start taking the action you're gonna go to the library or you're gonna look up on amazon books to help you guide that will help you guide you to that path you'll start moving like that person start dressing like that person because in imagination you are that fucking person and then when you've achieved it you've accomplished it you're that you have the help hey wow you lost so much weight or Oh, wow, man, you're a multimillionaire now. You have, I know you're a multimillionaire. You have this beautiful car and this beautiful home. Wow, man, congratulations. Or you're, you're with um, the guy or the girl and the, someone's telling you, hey, man, congratulations on your relationship. I've seen that you're, you have a, a girlfriend now, man. That's amazing. See the end or be with that person, you know, and you're already, you know in your heart you're already with that person. You're waking up or you're at a restaurant with that person. You're living in the end. It's already accomplished. All right, see it, feel it, smell it, hear it in your imagination, okay? Think from the goal accomplished. Think from the goal accomplished. Now just start acting like it, start taking action to get to that. You know, now the in-between, you don't know the in-between, you'll start taking a few steps that will guide you, okay? I like what Jerry and Esther Hicks write in their book, Ask, Believe, Receive. It's like driving to San Diego or driving to a certain place. You could only see a few feet from you when you're driving, but you know where you're going. Okay, signs will pop up. As long as you know where you're going, you get there once you get on the freeway because you'll start seeing the signs. That's how manifesting is. You have to know where you're going. You have to see the end. You have to take the action. As you're, as, when you make the commitment, the action is easy. When you make the fucking commitment, you're like, all right, I'm dedicating my life to this shit. I'm dedicating my life. Then you start, you start getting everything. There's a quote I read in, in this book I'm reading right now, like Unstoppable Confidence. And it says, 
we make something to this effect. We choose our goal and then our goal chooses our life, right? We choose our goal, your wish, your desire, we choose it. And then our wish <clears throat> chooses our life because then we have to do certain things, All right? I love that. I love that quote. All right, now I'm going to go on to the next. We're on 10 minutes already? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to read this quote because this quote resonated. It really got me a little angry because it was so powerful. Kind of like I got a little offended. So it means this is good. And it um, <clears throat> should resonate with you too. Maybe not get you offended, but let's read it. Quote, the man who is not prepared for the conscious plunge into the assumption of the wish fulfilled in the, in the faith that it is the only way to the realization of his dream is not yet ready to live consciously by the law of assumption. Although there is no doubt that he does live by the law of assumption unconsciously. Okay, I'm gonna read that again. The man who is not prepared for the conscious plunge into the assumption of the wish fulfilled in the faith that it is the only way to the realization of his dream is not yet ready to live consciously by the law of assumption. Although there is no doubt that he does live by the law of assumption unconsciously. My hat here says, there's a, there's a few cat hairs on there, but <laughs> as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Psalms 23, 7. Your thoughts and feelings, right? As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You get who you are, not what you want, okay? Who are you in your heart? As you're moving around on the physical plane, are you acting like that person in your mind who's achieved that goal? Are you acting and moving like him? Okay? Because if you are, you're using the law of assumption consciously, and now you're ready to create anything you fucking want. Anything, 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 okay? Anything you want. <clears throat> but for you who, who accept this principle and are ready to live by consciously assuming that you, your wish is already fulfilled, the adventure of life begins. Again, I'm, I'm going to re repeat it again. But for you who accept this principle and are ready to live by consciously assuming that your wish is already fulfilled, the adventure of life begins. All right. But for you who accept this principle and are ready to live by consciously assuming that your wish is already fulfilled, the adventure of life begins. Last quote, the assumption of the feeling of the wish fulfilled makes the future dream a present fact. Just like I was saying. Feel it to be true in your imagination and now move into the physical realm as that person. But you can't do that unless you've made a fucking commitment to do that. You have to commit your physical life to that wish fulfilled okay when i was in prison i committed my entire fucking life every second of my life was committed to my wish fulfilled that i was seeing in imagination which was being in college being successful being happy being with my family and being a good person all those feelings were were in me when i visualized okay and I let God take care of everything. I said, hey, God, whatever, whatever, you know, it's okay. I know you'll give it to me. But I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I could have been in Mexico because I wasn't born in the United States. So I could have been in Mexico. But I was visualizing myself in the United States. Okay, I had a feeling that I was in the United States because my family's in the United States. So that feeling, that feeling, you must really decipher what that feeling is, Right? Not really. You don't have to decipher it, but you have to know what you really want to put those feelings. All right. There you go. There we go. You must have to know what you really want to put those feelings in you. Okay. 
oh, I want to be rich. I want to earn uh, this amount of money, this amount of multi-millions and live in the United States with my family as a whole, right? Or as a bachelor, whatever it is. You, and those feelings, you know, and then you'll have them in your imagination, okay? <clears throat> so I'm not sure why that quote that I had mentioned got me a little angry, but it is what it is. I just, I might have read it wrong, but it's true. It's absolutely fucking true. <sighs> All right. So that's the end of this review of that chapter. These chapters are very, very short. They're not long. They're like a couple of paragraphs. If, if you would make them academic paragraphs, they'd probably be like, five academic paragraphs, but they're just like a few sentences and a little quotes, a few sentences, and then the chapter ends. But it's, it's profound, okay? It's profound. I feel like there's something else that I wanted to share, but at the moment, it's not really coming to me. All right. Anyhow, I see you as the highest version of yourself. The one with no limits. The one who has manifested all their goals and dreams onto the physical plane. I love you. Until next time, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if this is helping you. If this is resonating with you, share it with somebody you really, really, really fucking love and care about. Until next time, peace. I love you.